Stephen Shaw, a fighter who has sparred heavyweight champions Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz, coming off of a beatdown victory over Joey DeVeco. He says he's got a family to support. He says, I could barely afford to live in St. Louis. I can't come out to San Diego except for those six weeks. But so far, so good. And down goes Marquez. I text my big brother, Corey Spinks, Corey Spinks, St. Louis native, somebody, great champion, former Rick, great champion, and somebody Rick, that Shaw Rick, grew up watching Rick. and idolizing. I said, what do you think about Stephen Shaw? He just texts back, I like. Yeah. No. Oh, down for the second time is Marquez here in the first round. Shaw said, I'm very comfortable fighting southpaws, and it seems that way because that, la that right hand is the... Poison for any South Point. It's very effective against Marquez. And the left hook. Mm. Downstairs. That's the one that hurt him. And down for the third and final time is Bernardo Marquez as Stephen Shaw proves that his name is true. Big shot shot. Statement tonight. He came in. He told us his southpaws would be no issue. A little quick little jab right there. Got some distance. Mm. We see a short left and a right hand that buzzed and hurt Marquez. And he followed up with the right shots from the right range. That can be tricky for a right-hander fighting a left-hander, but not for Stephen Shaw. We just see him in the right range, just letting the shots go. Not too close, not too far apart. And he had bad intentions on every shot that he landed, and Marquez felt that. We see, Mark, we see Shaw come in right now and try to close the show. Another shot right there. Didn't seem like it was much, but we see right here for a big man like Shaw to land a clean shot like that on the side of the ear, it can have some crazy things going on in the head where you need to take a knee like Marquez did. Here we see half step back right there from Shaw. Another half step back. This is a big man doing this. This is a big man with this kind of skill and wherewithal to step back, take half steps back, and get leverage on every shot that he's landing, so much so where the referee has to come in and stop the fight. So Stephen Shaw improves to 17-0. No unlucky 13 when it comes to the knockout count for the fighter out of St. Louis.